This is Whiskey Radio Papa Lima 305 for identification. That's right, in addition to being an FCC licensed amateur radio operator, I'm also a licensed GMRS radio operator, Whiskey Radio Papa Lima 305. Today on HOA Ham, we're going to look at the GM30. Thanks, Radiotity, for providing this radio to me for my use and review, and thanks for your support of the channel. Let's get to it. We live in a day where the popularity of amateur radio continues to explode. The number of HTs available to us is enormous, and there's always something new hitting the market. When it comes to GMRS, there's low range, mid range, and high range from a feature, quality, and price perspective. And what we're looking at with the GM30 is a fantastic mid range radio. It is very reasonably priced, and it is feature rich, and it's a good quality radio. So spoiler alert, if you're interested in investigating GMRS and you want to pick up a single radio to see if it's for you, to see what kind of repeaters you have in your area, or if perhaps there's some simplex activity going on where you're located, or you want to join a group or a club that uses GMRS, this is a great radio. I'm going to highlight a few of the key features of the radio. We'll do an output test. I'll show you some hands-on functionality on the actual radio itself. We'll do a sound quality test radio to radio here in the QTH. And then I'm going to play a clip that shows me using the radio on the 14th floor of an 18-story hotel at LAX. I was completely encapsulated in concrete and steel. And at one point while someone was talking on a local repeater, I walked 25 feet deep into my room all the way to the entrance door. So I walked away from the balcony where I was picking up my signal the strongest. I walked 25 feet deep into the room and I quite frankly was amazed at the reception on the radio. In addition to the normal 30 GMRS channels that are going to be programmed into your radio, there are 219 available slots that you can program. If your GMRS repeater uses tones, then you can get some level of quote privacy. You can also program in UHF and VHF ham radio channels and repeaters. You won't be able to transmit on those frequencies, but you'll be able to listen to your favorite local ham radio repeater. You can program the radio using the front panel, or you can use the CPS software that's available on the Radiotity website. Let's get this unboxing out of the way, HOA ham style. We have all the items we expect to find in our package. The lanyard, the earpiece microphone setup, a manual which is pretty thorough and written in pretty good English. Nice job on this Radiotity. Radiotity seems to be doing a pretty good job on their manuals, and we appreciate that. We have our antenna, which is removable on this GMRS radio. Not everybody has removable antennas. They seem to be a little bit confused by this, depending on how they interpret the FCC requirements. This one on the Radiotity GM30 is removable. Then we have our wall brick that allows us to charge. We have a charging cable, which is USB-C. And then we have our, cr oh, we don't have a cradle. Why don't we have a cradle? We don't have a cradle, pay attention to this, ICOM and Yesu. We don't have a cradle because we have a USB-C port on the bottom of this battery. Do you see that? This is awesome. So this will charge USB-C independent of the radio or with the radio. Nice job, Radiotity. We all love USB-C. Everyone else needs to get on board. GMRS channels are pre-programmed into our radio and the screen on our radio is actually quite good. My camera's not picking it up very well. We're on channel one. Let's go ahead and power up and see how many watts we pump out. 4.2, 4.1 on a five watt radio. Let's jump up in channel count and see what we get. Here we are in channel 22. Let's check our power output here. 4.15, 4.11. Four Let's jump up to our first repeater. And let's check the power output here at 3.76. Let's jump up a little bit further in the repeater range and see what we get. And at the top end of our repeater frequencies, we get power output of 3.7, 3.8. Other features I can demonstrate on the tabletop would be our favorite, the flashlight on our HD. Again, something we all make fun of until we need it. And then there it is. 
Tired of talking to your friends on the repeater or killing some time while you're waiting for them to come rescue after you've called them on a GMRS channel? Press this button and you can entertain yourself with FM radio. And of course, no HT is complete without the opportunity to scan NOAA weather channels. That's accomplished by pressing and holding the button with the blue cloud until it starts to scan and picks up the local channel, which is the strongest. Of course, that's an awesome and necessary feature. The sound quality on the GM30 is pretty good and the speaker is quite loud. I'm going to place my microphone right next to this unit and take the other unit to the other side of the house and just do a quick test so you can hear the clarity of the sound. Whiskey Radio Papa Lima 305, testing on the GM30, no response required, check, check. Up next will be the clip from the 14th floor of the 18-story LAX Marriott. I'll say 73 now, friends, and we'll have some more information on GMRS radios coming in the near future. I'll be monitoring until I can and uh, talk to you guys later. I'll be clear on your final. Yeah, cop said, just give a shout whenever you get into town. Right, I know. Don't be listening. WRJX 790 standing by. I'm right here, Tom. Uh -huh. 